In this video, I'm going to show you how to create glitch text right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a brand new composition created, we first want to begin by creating some new text. So we'll go up to the T icon and select anywhere in your black video. Now we'll just type out a word of your choice. I'm going to do Brooker, obviously Brooker Films and then we'll just center that up. Now the way the glitch text effect works is you need three titles, one in red, one in green, one in blue, and they're all gonna be stacked on top of each other. So we now need to change this text to red. So we'll select this color up here in the character window. We'll select the white box and we'll change this to red. Now we're just gonna make a copy of that. So we'll go Command C, Command V. If you're on Windows, that's Control C, Control V. We'll change the color of this one to blue. Then we'll copy that one, Command C, Command V, and we'll change the color to green. Now, if you want to stay organized, then you can change the color of the label. So we'll change the color of this one to green. The second one was blue, and then the bottom one was red. So that is already red. So you can see we've got our red, blue, and green colors down here. Now from here, you want to change the blending mode of the top two layers to screen. Of course though, if you can't find your blending modes, if they're not here sitting on the timeline, then all you have to do is select toggle switches slash modes, and that should reveal the mode tab. Now we'll go into the top layer, the green layer, we'll select normal and change this to screen. Now we'll do the same thing for the blue layer, we'll go normal to screen. And now we should have our white text again. Now from here, we can basically add any sort of animation or effect to this, and it's going to create a glitching effect. But I'm gonna start with the most simple one, and that is adjusting the scale position and rotation. So we're just gonna go roughly a second into our text. We're going to open up the green layer, so we'll select the drop down arrow, select transform. We'll just zoom in to the composition just a little bit so we can see what we're doing. We'll create a brand new keyframe on position, scale, and rotation. We'll move three frames to the right. We'll create those three frames again. We'll sew three new keyframes, and then we'll go over three again and create another set of keyframes. Now we're gonna to go to that middle set of keyframes. We'll increase the scale. We'll change the position, and we'll add some rotation. And if we play this back, you'll see We've got this really brief glitch effect. Of course though, it wasn't very quick. So if you wanted to speed this up, then you just decrease the gap between those keyframes. And of course, if you wanted to add a little bit of extra life to this though, then you can just turn on the motion blur. So we'll select the motion blur button here. We'll go back to toggle switches slash modes, hold control A or command A, and select this box here under the motion blur. So when we play this back, you'll notice there is a touch of motion blur. You can really see it on this frame here. So that is the most simple way of creating glitch text, but of course there are so many other features in After Effects that allow us to take this glitch to the next level. So I'm gonna go into effects and presets and I'm going to search for Venetian blinds, or you can just search for blinds and that will appear in the transitions wipes transition folder. So we'll drop Venetian blinds onto our green layer. We'll go to the first keyframe of the position scale rotation and we'll create a brand new keyframe on transition completion. We'll go over to that second keyframe and we'll pull the transition completion all the way up to 100%. And then we'll go to where that last keyframe sits on position scale rotation and we'll pull this down to zero. So if we play this back, you can see we've got this really awesome Venetian blinds effect happening on our text. Now, the great thing with this Venetian blinds effect is we can change the direction. So if we pull the direction around, we can create a diagonal effect to this glitch. And then we can also change the width of the blinds. So if we increase the width, then we're going to see less lines. But of course, if we decrease this, then we're going to see even more lines. But I like to keep this somewhere around 30%. And of course we can feather this to make the blind softer, but that's completely your call. I'm just going to leave that at zero because I think it looks great. Of course, we can also adjust these keyframes so that they don't animate at the exact same time as the position scale rotation. So we'll go into effects, Venetian blinds, 
and we can pull this first keyframe to the left to touch. We'll pull the second keyframe to the right. And this means that Venetian blinds glitch is going to be a little bit longer than the scale position rotation, but the two of them overlapping will look really nice. Of course though, Venetian blinds is just one of many effects. So we're gonna carry on and we're gonna go to the next effect. But for now, we're going to ignore that top layer. We're going to ignore the green layer and we'll move down to the blue layer. So moving around each individual channel gives you a different look. So if we move the blue channel, we can see we've got a blue and yellow effect. And if I pull the red channel, you can see we've got more of a red and blue glitch. So from here, I'm going to go into effects and presets and we're going to go into the distort folder and basically everything in the distort folder you can use to create an awesome glitch. So we've got a Bezier warp, bulge, bend it. There's so many in here. But in this example, I'm going to show you a glitch with liquify. Let's go with liquify and we'll drop this onto the blue channel, as I mentioned. Now, liquify is going to give you multiple different tools. So we've got this smudge tool here, then we've got turbulent tool options, twirl tools. We've got loads of different tools in the liquify section. So we'll just select one of these and then we're just going to paint over that text. So as you can see, that's just going to add this little bit of glitch here. It's quite subtle to be honest, but it looks really good. And then we've got our distortion percentage. So if we pull this down to zero, then that distortion is going to disappear. But of course, if we pull this back up to 100 or even 200, then it's going to appear again. So we're going to use that to animate this effect. So we'll pull this down to 0%, create a brand new keyframe. We'll move one frame to the right. We'll pull this all the way up to 200. And then we'll go two to the right, one, two. And we'll pull this back down to zero. And if we play this back, you'll notice it's subtle, but it's adding a nice glitch on the blue and yellow channel. Moving on from the liquify tool though, we've got everything else in distort. We've got all of these plugins and these presets. They're all going to offer you something really unique and different to your glitch effect, but we'll move on and we'll go down to transition. And in transition, we should have all of these presets for our transitions. So we've got block dissolve, card wipe, glass wipe, grid wipe. We've got loads of different effects here, but I'm going to go for the twister and we're going to drop this on to the red channel. So we'll drop CC Twister onto the red channel. And as you can see at the top of CC Twister, we've got completion. So if we pull this down to 0%, we'll create a brand new keyframe on completion. We'll move one or two frames to the right. We'll pull this up to around 50. There you go, that looks really awesome. And then we'll go two frames to the right. We'll pull this back down to 0%. You can see we've got this really unique glitch on our text. So that was very quick. Of course, you can increase the gap between those keyframes to make that a little bit longer. But moving on into Twister, we've got our center settings, and this is basically going to allow us to select where this animation is going to happen from. And we can also create a keyframe of this. So if we go to our first keyframe on the completion, we'll create a keyframe on center, move to our last keyframe, we'll select this center button here, and we'll move this over to the right, this means the center of this effect is going to travel from the left to the right of the word. So if we play this back, you'll notice this has created a more unique and interesting effect. As you can see, of course, though, let's go into effects on our red channel. We'll go into CC Twister. We'll increase the gap between these keyframes just to make this a little bit longer. And then we can also sync this up with the first set of glitches that we made. So we'll pull these over to the left. And if we play this back, you'll notice we've got this really interesting and really unique looking glitch on our word. Now there are so many different plugins inside of Adobe After Effects that allow you to manipulate your text a little bit differently to another one. And this means you can have a really interesting and unique glitch effect happening on your text. All you have to do is create your three channels of text, one red, one green, one blue, set the top two to screen, and then just add any effects and any animation onto any of those layers. And you're going to get a really interesting glitch effect on your text. And there you go. That is how you create really unique and interesting glitch effects on your text right inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.